He is. You sounded very surprised at that and slightly disappointed. So, uh, anyway, step 12 here. A little bit about the backstory that uh, Paula was talking about, and you were hinting at there as well, a bit more detail, and that she was flying. She was a, such a talented youngster, over 1,500 metres, and then she had a, a dreadful injury in uh, cross country in Belgium. She was leading a race there and broke her ankle in three places. Uh, and then she tried to come back and recover and then in Helsinki the following year she was warming up and uh, and suffered a stress fracture again. Final. She's got to run a good race and I'm sure she's going to stick to the task today. She's a tough athlete but this is a world-class athlete. This is an athlete who's looking now to become one of the best we've ever known. Her sister's already paved the way with five world championship gold medals. The great Tiranesh de Barba with three Olympic gold medals to go alongside them. And now she'll be sitting in Ethiopia because they've all got big satellites in their, in their back gardens. They can watch athletics from all around the world. But they'll be watching the World Athletics Championships. They'll be looking at this race. Ayana is going to be a danger, though. She, she ran her close. They're going to be competitive, and they are competitive. And now we'll see today whether the mesmeric effect like Mo Farah had yesterday in the 5,000 metres, whether Genzebi de Barba has a similar effect. She probably doesn't, won't have that effect on this lady. Yes, yeah, so it was in China, in the Diamond League meeting in Shanghai, that Ayana uh, ran the quickest time in the world this year. Third quickest time in history. Only Tiranesh de Barba and Meseret de Far above her. Uh, Meseret de Far injured this season. Tiranesh de Barba is enjoying new motherhood at the moment, and she's planning to come back and targeting Rio. So I'm not sure we've seen the last of Tiranesh de Barba. There is a Mercy Chirono. Certainly could do something with her pace at the end if it's a little bit slower. Won the Diamond League race for 3,000, 5,000 last season. The three Kenyans in here, Janet Kisa, as well as Chip Tayan, Mercy Chirono, Steph Twell there. Uh, but Almaz Ayana, the other Ethiopian, I think will be the major threat, if it is to be a threat to Genzebi de Baba. They're not friends, they're pretty fierce rivals, in fact. They don't uh, work in the same training camp and uh, certainly would work together. Nicole Tully goes to the United States as well. This is a little damp, still evening. It's been a bit cooler today. It's good for these runners who are 5,000 meters. We could see a fast time. There have been all sorts of rumors and hints and whispers in dark corners that she could target the world record in Zebi de Baba. It seems unlikely in this, but uh, but she has confirmed that it's all this season doing the, uh, doing the unexpected. And the point is that de Baba can win this anyway. This is the way to do it, test them out. She tested her out, she came up trump. Almaz Ayana, championship record, gold medal, Simberi Teferi with the silver and Genzebi de Baba, the bronze medal, she is mortal after all. And Stephanie 12 down, 15.26, a good run, and again, just good to see her back on this uh, world stage, and she will recover and get stronger, and we'll see her and uh, look forward to Rio with Steph 12 in a year.